Hey, we're back here on Gadgetplex. We're talking about a really interesting device that has uh, security applications. It's called the iLog, E-Y-E-L-O-G. And uh, Phil, what we just started to get into it. I had to break from that segment here because I want to make sure that we looked at all the all the upside and uh, things that the characteristics of this device. Yeah, th thanks, Andy. You, you know, you do have to shut me up sometimes. Once I get talking about technology, <laughs> as those of you who've ever ventured onto my booth at uh, any of the shows will know. Um, so, so just to, just to kind of summarize, you've got the um, the cell phone with the camera. Um, now, what happens is um, the, the the application is imagine that uh, you want to protect your home or your, or your RV. It doesn't really matter. Um, it has a little stand, so you can stand it on the side, looking at maybe the doorway or the hallway. Um, or you can mount it on the wall. It little, looks a little bit like a, um, a temperature sensor or humidity sensor or something. Any body or movement inside of the, the home or RV will trigger it, and then it uses the cell phone network to send a, um, a, a short a short picture. Actually, it, um, you can set it up to do a, to do a, a succession of three st uh, still shots, or you can specify to do a, um, a, a short video clip. And the coolest thing about that is it sends it directly to your cell phone. So there's none of this worrying about, oh, it's going to go to a, um, you know, a third-party company, and if it's a false alarm, they're going to charge me and all that sort of stuff. It comes to your cell phone. You could be at a restaurant down the road, or you could be in, in Florida, <laughs> you know, thousands of miles away, and you get to see within 30 seconds, 45 seconds, um, who's inside the house, what it is with a picture, and can then make a determination as to what to do about that. Yeah. And I think the other thing that's uh, particularly interesting is that uh, since it comes to you as a text, uh, you you may have that uh, you know in your pocket, your cell phones uh, in in the pocket and so forth, or uh, or you might be uh, dozing or have it on the bedstead or something like that, and uh, you'll hear that text come in, and uh, so you're alerted uh, no matter where you are. Yeah, if I, and I use this regularly um, at the shows that we go to because, um, you know, many times we'll leave our product on the booth and, um, you know, it's, th th there's a lot of, equ lot of um, equipment there. So what I'll do is I'll put iLog guarding the booth for us and, um, you know, I, a couple of times it's gone off and I can then look at it. And in fact, there was one at um, the Gypsy Journal with Nick, who I'm sure um, many of you will know from his, his program on the show. Um, and... Um, I, I call. I was panicking because I could see somebody on my booth, which there shouldn't be because it was secure and it was locked. So I called Nick up, all panicky, and he came in together. And it turned out that it was the owner of the um, of the campground, and she was adjusting the the thermostat behind my booth. But uh, I, I must admit, it gave uh, gave uh, uh, Nick quite a start when I was able to say, so not only is somebody on my booth, but by the way, here's a picture of the person. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we had a similar situation. Uh, at Tech Podcast, we were at the Consumer Electronics Show. We had a very large, we had a 20 by 20 booth and, and an incredible amount of equipment and so forth there. And right next door to us was another booth. And it turned out that, that uh, there was some people that uh, you know, actually you know, came and stole some equipment. And, and they didn't hit us, they hit the guys beside us, but they weren't probably the brightest of thieves because that company's product were <laughs> surveillance systems exactly very similar <laughs> to what you're describing here. And, uh, you know, nice. the deputies rounded, rounded them up pretty quickly. But so yeah, let's, let's give this thing a funny, try here. At the same time. Yeah, let's give this thing a try here and, uh, and, and see what we can do. Okay, so what I've done while we've been talking is um, I actually programmed in um, Dave's cell phone number. And so what, what it will do is um, while we were talking, hopefully it's, uh, he's... Uh, received a message by now and what it'll do is it sends three text messages sorry which have a thick pictures attached but it also sends them to your email as well so you can, kind of like a hard copy so i don't know if, if dave's there if he's able to to uh, as, as it well uh, we'll as have to get anything. dave all right now there's courtney and okay dave's handing his cell phone over and uh, that looks like phil yeah not a particularly flattering picture <laughs> of me but that was taken maybe just a minute ago yeah and so um you know, that's that's pretty good real-time feedback. It it really is. And you say it's about uh, about a minute's delay. I mean, that sort of timing. Yeah, it it takes about a minute because it ha it has to compress the image and then send it over the cell phone network. So um, it, it's about a minute. But it, you can also 
put it into video mode. I, I don't know if Courtney was able to load that video that I um, that I sent. Yeah, a part of it is trying to get it out out of the cell phone and into into our equipment uh, here. But uh, okay. is, is the video is I assume is is a, is one or two frames per second. So it's not going to be a full motion type uh, uh, image, right? No, that's right. It, it's it, it's not bad, but it's maybe like four or five frames a second. Um, the the challenge seems to be viewing it on your cell phone. So um, I haven't been able to um, actually watch the video on my iPhone. I, I don't think there's the, the correct um, codec for it, but it will send it also to your email. So so it tells you that something's happened, and then you know you go to your uh, computer and have a look and check out the, the, the video. The, the video is actually quite good from a surveillance point of view. Okay, there we go. There this, it is. This is actually, I was in a hotel in, in Houston. This was our booth um, and we were parked down the road and that kind of freaked me out because it was like 10 o'clock at night and the, the cell phone went off and I was able to watch this and it turns out this was a security guard actually walking onto our booth um, and you know, he wasn't doing anything that he shouldn't be doing. He was really just, I think, totally bored out of his mind and saw our brochures and walked over there and, and had a look at them. Um, but once I got over the shock of it going off, um, it was actually nice to have that peace of mind to yeah. know that um, I, I was in touch in, in some way with, with, uh, with, with the booth or as somebody might find with their house. Yeah. Now, do you have to have a separate uh, uh, cell account? I mean, you said this is on AT&T or T-Mobile. Uh, if you're a Verizon customer, then do you, are, are you buying two cell phone accounts or, or how does this work? Right. That's where it gets interesting. So the system, as you said, works with AT&T and T-Mobile. So if you have a, um, a plan with them, then you just get an additional phone, pop the SIM out, and put it into the, um, into the iLog. That's the simplest way of using it. If you, if you don't have a plan with them, then you can use what's called a prepaid um, SIM. And um, that gets a little bit more involved. Um, basically, what you do is it comes with an AT&T SIM. You go online. You put some money onto it, maybe 25 bucks, and then every time it sends a text message, it deducts it from your account. Okay, so uh, so it's not like you're uh, signed up for uh, $60 with one uh, carrier and then another $60 just to have this one device send messages occasionally. That's right. I mean, the nice thing with the prepaid is you don't have a plan. So if you turn off the, the, uh, the iLog, then you're not paying for it because it's not sending any text messages. But <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? Um, the way AT&T have got it, uh, this prepaid implemented is if you don't use it for a certain period of time, then those texts, then, then that money on your account expires. So basically, it costs like you 25 bucks for three months. Right, right. Well, listen, you know, I feel sure every product is going to have its positive side and its negative side, the pluses and the minuses. It's a very interesting product. Seems to work well. When we come back on GadgetPlex, we'll maybe look uh, kind of at the downside and also get, get comments from our product testers in the chat room. Stay tuned here on GadgetPlex. Got a question or comment for GadgetPlex's Phil May? Send him an email at gadgetplex at rvnn.tv or leave a voicemail for Phil at 877-578-RVNN, extension 703. Follow RV NewsNet on Facebook and Twitter, and you can receive text messages to alert you when we're streaming live by texting RVNN to 72727. That way, you can join us live in the chat room, ask questions, and become part of the RV NewsNet family. Remember, any photos or other material submitted to us become the property of RV NewsNet yet and cannot be returned. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad.